So I think I'd like to become a Microsoft MVP, but I'd like to understand the prerequisites before getting that coveted nomination. What do I have to do? Well, believe it or not, the answer will shock you. Kia ora everyone, I'm Nathan Rose. I'm a lead consultant and Microsoft MVP based here in beautiful Auckland, New Zealand. I am incredibly passionate about unleashing human creativity through low code and the power platform. So undoubtedly your LinkedIn feed has been flooded over the last couple of days with MVPs announcing their renewal. Microsoft just announced the class of 2025. So congratulations to all the MVPs who did the hard work and got renewed. Um, but you might be saying, you know what? I'd like to become an, an MVP, but I wanna understand what the prerequisites are. Do I need to spend some years getting technical background and expertise? Do I need to study computer science? Do I need to get a host of Microsoft certifications? Well. This will absolutely shock you. The single prerequisite to being nominated to become a Microsoft MVP is to have such an incredible passion for Microsoft technology that you're having an impact on your community. That's it. That's crazy, right? But literally, that is the prerequisite, that you are so incredibly passionate about Microsoft technology that you're having an impact on the community that you serve, be that participating in user groups, um, answering questions in forums, doing YouTube videos, writing blogs, writing books, all those types of things stem from your passion for Microsoft technology and have an impact on the community around you. Microsoft MVPs come in all different shapes and sizes from all walks of life and from all backgrounds. We have Microsoft MVPs who are incredibly technical and some who aren't, some who are highly certified and those who aren't, some who are young and some who are grumpy old men like myself. Microsoft MVPs are diverse. The single unifying characteristic of all Microsoft MVPs is this massive, enduring, abiding passion for Microsoft technology that leads us to have an impact on the communities that we serve. That's it. So if you are looking to get nominated as an MVP, I want to encourage you, stoke the fire of that passion. Keep participating in your community. Keep, keep uh, serving keep doing your blogs and your videos and showing up at user group and answering questions on forums, because I promise you, if you keep doing those things, you will get noticed, you will get nominated. It's only a matter of time. That's it from me. Congratulations to all the MVPs who got renewed. Go do something awesome today, and I'll talk to you soon.